um, we were some of the first to go and get a, a degree in jazz performance in uh, where I was. And so we were pretty much guinea pigs, I think. And the teachers <laughs> were <laughs> training or education. They were just um, musicians who came up through the industry. So, so I really think there was a gap there um, because I had to deal with a lot of sexism and a lot of bullshit basically sorry can i say that no <laughs> yeah, of course <laughs> <Please>. of course <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and and it was to the extent where i, I hated it i hated mm. it and it um as soon as i could it's funny because as soon as i when i was a kid i wanted to be a city person so that i could interact with other uh people studying music and i i couldn't wait to get out of home to move into the city and once i did that i was like I wanted to leave the country because I was thinking this is not what what I imagined in my head as far as how musicians should be treated and so on and um, so I as soon as I could I, I kind of left I toured with some R&B bands just to get out of the country or just to be moving and then um, and yeah so I, I I sort of fought the stereotypes and the you should do this you should be that uh, along that path, like later on, 